Hi everybody, this is Lonnie. I've got questions from people about how I know what settings to use on the laser. Um, a lot of the stuff that I do is out of recycled materials or one of a kind type of stuff. And sometimes finding the right settings can be challenging. So I've developed a way in which I can do a test print on most of the materials that I do to get it right and still not make a gaudy test print that distracts from um, the item. So I'm going to show you how I do that today. You can use it if you want. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Um, but there are questions were out there, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, give me a second to set up, and we'll get in right into it. Okay, so here's the file that I created. Um, and I will put this on the We Create official Facebook group page in the file section. And I'll label it like Lonnie's Linear Test Grid or something like that. Um, but the whole thing, when you call it up, nothing on here will print. Everything is is uh, clicked out to where it won't register. Um, and uh, let me run through and explain it to you first. Here's all your different settings, um, different test places it's going to test. The next line is the power. And then the next line is the speed. So whereas uh, normally on a regular square test grid, um, you've got them in rows. It's just the row separated, taken down, and put it in a linear uh, pattern. And you'll see why it's done that way here in a second. The stuff on the left is for softer wood. The stuff on the right is for harder wood. And you'll see right here this little safety triangle with the exclamation point in it. When you get to these settings up here, you have to be kind of cautious because depending on your wood, it, it can punch through. So use those sparingly. I find that I usually use the 202 and the 103 settings the most. Um, so let me put a piece of wood uh, in the um, machine and I'll be right back and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so here you see I've got a piece of wood in the machine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my whole test grid and I'm going to drag it over. These Squares and circles are what I'm going to print. Everything else is just there for reference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those squares and those circles and I'm going to bring it over here to where it's uh, right up alongside a horizontal line. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select which um, ones I want to want to print. Um, this is a little bit harder wood, so I'm going to go with the 103 range. So I'm going to click on the squares and circles to where the, those are highlighted. I'm going to come over here where it says ignore for processing and click off of it. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to auto focus on it and then I'm going to print that section right there. And I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, I've done the um, print and um, we're going to look at that in a second. But after I've done that print, if it was not done the way I wanted it to be, or it wasn't dark enough or whatever, I've just turned that off. Click the one next to it, turn it on, and print that one. And the whole thing would end up in a line um, when I get done to figure out what I needed. Um, but I have a feeling that what I did is good enough. So I'm gonna just move this out of the way. And refresh it and what I've done is I've um, without moving the image I've run a cloth over it um, to clean it up um, and I know that I was in the 103 range here when I did it um, and uh, the power of 90 is the circle on the 90s the cir circles are always 90 just makes it easier to index it and from looking at it on the actual piece, two to the left of the circle is what I want. So I'm going to go one, two, uh, 47 is going to be my power, and 103 is going to be my speed. Okay, and you'll see power, 47, speed, 103. Okay, and the thing about doing this is I can do this. This is the back of a cabinet door. I'm going to put a, a plaque on the front of the cabinet door. This is on the back. It doesn't look gaudy. It doesn't look 
you know, with numbers and everything on there. It's all atrocious or whatever. Um, but whoever gets this is not going to know what they're there for. I've never had anybody ask what they're there for. They assume it's a cabinet manufacturing deal, not mine. Um, but still, I mean, you could have a lot longer line, or you could just have the, the like this one here. It's got this, the, it's actually five, but the first one was so light you can't even read it. Um, so that's how I do that. And so every piece that I have, I can do a test on it. So I make sure that I get the right numbers in it going in. Okay, so that's it. I mean, it's easy. Um, it doesn't look bad or atrocious. Um, you get what the information that you need, and you don't wrote a bunch of pieces doing it that way. Um, that's just the way I do it. If it helps you, fine. If not, sorry to waste your time. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Um, like all my other videos, hope it helps too.